Hello there. Welcome to another very short fishing expedition. I've got probably about an hour and the river, believe it or not, was was about another 18 inches higher than it is now. It's still above its normal level. Um, we've had a couple of weeks of rain and it's dropped quite a long way down and it's started to clear now and this is about two o'clock in the afternoon and there's a hell of a lot of mayflies hatching. Unfortunately I don't think I've got any mayfly patterns but I'm going to give it a bash with what I've got. I'm actually using a very small upwing olive dry fly. You never know it might tempt them. That's what I'm using. Maybe it's a bit late in the year for using this but that's all I've got. It's probably only about size 14, maybe 16. A very small fly but I'm going to give it a bash. Been a fish rising just out here, so that's the first one I'm going to go for. I think this little fella is just too small, so I'm going to have a look through my box, see if I can find anything a little bit bigger. Well, this is the only mayfly sort of pattern that I've got in my box. Looks like it's seen a bit of work. It's about knackered. I'd imagine it'd be still good for about a dozen or so casts, so I'm gonna give it a go. There's the first one, nice little brownie. Very greedy little fish, took that, whoops, took that big fly, no problem at all. Slipping back. Just managed to lose that fly that I've caught the fish on. So I'm gonna have to get back into the box again, try and find a substitute. Really scraping the barrel now. Right, this one's actually a fly I tied about 15 years ago when I was banging to fishing. It's an upside down, well, it's an upside down mayfly of sorts or olive. Reasonably big, I think it's size 12. Looks like a shrimp hook. And the idea behind this was that it would land upside down and the hook would be in the air instead of in the water. But I'll give it a go. Well, that was unexpected. I literally just dropped it in the water in front of us. And the fish took it straight away. Another little brownie. He can go back as well. Well, that's good. It was a very good start for that fly. Hopefully I won't lose this one behind me. I'm gonna try a little bit further down. There's a few fish rising there. The back cast down there is very, very difficult. There's overhanging trees above me. There's a big bank side with long grasses and I'm firing it to the other side of the river so I'm going to have to be very careful not to lose any flies there. I'm using quite an old rod, it's about 20 years old, it's a six piece, seven foot hardy smuggler with pretty old reel, old line, the only thing that's new. There's another fish just risen down there as well so there's, there's a few fish about now, it's not too bad. The only thing that's new is the nylon and the fly. Can't risk that snapping. That was a mayfly just getting eaten by a fish. Now I have got a tree behind me 
and the vegetation is very high on the bank side but it's not too bad, it could be worse. I've just got the fly stuck in the tree. It really is awful getting in here. I've got a tree behind me. This bushy fella here. I've got all sorts behind me. It's just awful. And I've got it stuck in an overhanging tree just down next to me. It's worth getting wet for though. Well that was deeper than it looked. I've managed to find a bit where I can cast. I'm right down by the side of the river. That was a canny fish. Probably is within range as well. We'll have to drift the fly down to it, but it's worth a go. Uh, there's an overhanging tree just here. On my side of the river, there's been a few fish rising there as well, so that's a really easy cast. I shouldn't manage to get the fly tangled behind me. Providing I can keep the fly rod anything away from vertical, i.e. keep the fly line over the river, up above me, should be able to fire it far enough downstream without getting it tangled in the trees. Well, that didn't take long. First cast, let it go down to where I'd seen the fish rise, and it's on. Ooh, this one's a much bonnier fish. The spots on that fella. Beautiful. Probably is about ooh, nine, ten inches long. Not very big. He's going to go back as well. In fact, I put them all back. Doesn't matter what size they are. There he goes. I'll try and catch another one. Fly's still looking pretty good, but it's not floating very well. So it's going to get a little bit more floating, keep it high in the water. Fish seem to prefer that. Oh, that was an awesome cast. Put it into the tree. Oh, it's come off. Put it into the trees in front of us. Flicked it back over my shoulder upstream and got one up there. But unfortunately it got off because I was talking to the camera. I'm going to call it a day at this particular pool. Have a look a little bit further down. I'm going to try and try and find a bit of a current, some rapids. I always find it easier to catch fish when there's a good bit of current, just drop it on them. They generally take, they can't see you as well because the water's pretty clear here. I've probably had a good 10 minutes, quarter of an hour in here. Haven't seen a fish rise. Loads of mayflies on the water, but as far as fish goes, absolutely nothing. They may have gorged themselves earlier on, but I would still expect to have seen something in here. It's normally a very good pool. 
Yeah, so I'm going to give up on this one, go down a little bit further. Plenty of mayflies on the water. Plenty of fish rising as well, but the better ones seem to be probably right at the limit of my casting range. I'm only using a little seven foot rod. And I'm not the world's greatest caster. Nearly had one. Nearly. Second time lucky with that one. There's another one rising just where this one came from as well, so there's a good chance of getting a, a doubler here. Another little wild brownie, about 9-10 inches. Now where I'm casting to there's a submerged rock, which means that the current gets dragged all over the place, which in turn affects the fly line. That's why I'm mending the fly line as soon as I'm casting. It's a little bit better that one. Another nice little fish. Tiny little one, that one. Probably is about seven inches.
熱くなってきました Oh, it's going some, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely one. There's a beautiful brown trout caught on a little dry fly. The fins on that fella, it's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. There he goes, back where he belongs. So I've come back to my pond. I'm gonna try and catch one of the rainbow trout in here, just to show you what sort of condition they're in. Right, I've got something. Ordinarily, you'd want to put the fly as gently as possible on the water, but I just slapped it on as if it was a pellet going in the water. Right, well, that isn't what I was after. It's actually a roach, no, a rud. Beautiful little fish. Better chuck them back. Well, that wasn't bad, but it wasn't a trout. 